something just wasn't right with this. The reference photo I had made was of a dragonfly sitting on a reed by our pond. But this big fellow had something else in mind. Now, I'm so thrilled to announce I've completed the final cut. My big dragonfly, which I introduced to you last week, is done. In this week's Monday movie, you'll see how I solved my problem. I'm Wendy Bale. This is episode number 99. All the intricate paper cuts were done, and now it was time to start to assemble the pieces. But why did this seem so lacking, so static? While working in the night studio, some late night consultants were drawn to my light and they gave me a suggestion. Let this dragonfly fly. Raise his abdomen, turn his head, and give him a cattail landing strip. Capture a moment. Tell a story of life in the riparian zone. He's guarding his spot. Unlike a drawing or a painting, it's pretty easy to move parts around right up until the time you start gluing things together. That's one of the things I love most about paper sculpture, the ability to be flexible. Speaking of flexible, our thanks to the Crary Art Gallery in Warren, Pennsylvania for fitting our show into the 2021 schedule after it was postponed last year. Opens July 10th. Sign up for snippets for a special offer celebrating our upcoming show, The Riparian Zone, up and down the riverbank. I'm Wendy Bale, a visual artist and storyteller in Western New York. You can find my work on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and at wendybaleartfirst.com.